So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 101 of our Portsmouth crew mode on the PS4 FIFA 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode with a home game up against Cardiff who are currently sitting in 13th place and we're currently sitting in 5th so we're not doing too bad this season. We do have pretty much our weaker squad out for this one as I do believe that will be a good enough squad to go ahead and uh, beat Cardiff and also we wanted to reserve our best squad for the main game we have in this episode which was going to be um, one up against uh, at home against Arsenal in the FA Cup and the other was going to be away from home at the San Siro against AC Milan in the Champions League so but we do start off this episode and the first chance of the game does actually fall to us Kingley Cohn plays the ball to Marshall Marshall plays the ball over the top to Draxler Draxler takes on the man he cuts inside and has a shot and he finds the bottom corner so a very good finish from uh, Draxler there as he found the bottom bottom corner and beat Marshall in the Cardiff net and we are now on episode obviously number 101 so I really hope you did uh, enjoy episode number um, 100 of the Ports of Crimea, which was a special episode. And I'd like to say once again a huge thank you to everyone that has given us support throughout the whole series, as I do very much appreciate it. And the main response I got from the other one, uh, the episode number 100, was that you guys wanted me to do more live commentaries, but basically on like important uh, games, important episodes. So what I'm probably going to be doing is like the important games, like at the end of the season, maybe the FA Cup final if we get there. Um, the uh, Champions League final, if we get there, which would be amazing if we could. And uh, the last few games of the season, we'll try and make special. I'm trying to do a live commentary. Um, maybe not the, a special video, like an extra long one, but live commentary so you can feel the emotion that I'm going through at the time of me playing and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy that. But the next game of this episode was going to be at home once again. But this time it's going to be up against Arsenal in the FA Cup. And we did want to win this because obviously we're still in the FA Cup. We've still got a chance to qualify as League Football next season. League Football next season. And I just wanted to win the FA Cup just in case we don't get into the um, top four this season. As um, it would be a great achievement if we could win the um, FA Cup. And the first time again, actually fall to them. Arteta plays a good one-two with Ozil. Ozil has a shot, but thankfully Scuff it matched it with a good save. And we do again then manage to get the ball out wide and out of harm's way. But we then get a really good chance with Sivkovic. And he just proves his skill and class as he runs past three Arsenal defenders. And finishes expertly past Ospina in the Arsenal net. And um, well, in all honesty, I think a goalkeeper of his quality should be doing a lot better from there. I know it was a good shot from Sivkovic. But still, it wasn't powerful. It was low down. But still, I think he should have done a little bit better with um, covering that one. But we then get another good chance. Sterling runs on the wing. He takes on loads of players. Has a good shot. But... Well, Ospina redeems himself with one of the best saves of the series so far. Fantastic save. But straight from the corner, he played the ball short to Halilovic. Halilovic plays the ball to Mandanda. And Mandanda just wraps up pretty much the first half of an absolutely delightful goal there. As he fires the ball past um, Ospina, who had just recently made a fantastic save. But he was not going to be in anywhere near that one from Junior Mandanda. And uh, what a fantastic goal it was from him as well. Lovely ball back to him from Halilovic. And he just takes a touch and hits it. And uh, Ospina was getting nowhere near that one as it flew right right into the top-hand corner, and Julian Melanda picks up our second goal of the game. We then get a good chance to make it three in the first half as Lukaku runs through, takes on Koscielny. Koscielny has a desperate dive to try and get there. He doesn't get there, and Lukaku fires the ball into the back of the net. So a dream start for us in this game. A fantastic 3-0 lead going into half-time, and pretty much the game was done and dusted, as um, I was hoping now that we could try and um, reserve a few players and don't get any injuries. But they do get a good chance here as Jekyll plays the ball to Casola. Casola plays the ball out wide. He cuts inside. I thought that was a fantastic challenge from... Um, from Garbert, but unfortunately the referee didn't deem to, uh, deem to be, and um, he gave a penalty. Jekyll then hits the post, and it finds its way into the back of it as he sends Scuff it the wrong way. So in the 31st minute, um, in the 58th minute, sorry, um, the scoreline was now Portsmouth three, Arsenal one. But I thought I don't want to let Arsenal. I don't want to sit back because I'm not very good at defending, as you guys probably are already aware of. And the best form of defence is attack. So I went straight out for it. Zigfitch took on Aaron Ramsey with a fake shot. Keeps on going and hits it from range. And well, what a fantastic goal it was from Zivkovic. Another wonder goal from him. And in episode number 100, which was obviously just two days ago, you saw an absolute wonder goal from Zivkovic, which was pretty much 
mirror like as he scored it against Arsenal as well. This time, instead of taking on Wilshire, he takes on Ramsey, beats Ospina once again with a fantastic shot, and Arsenal must hate playing against Sivkovic because what a fantastic guy it was, and I was very, very ecstatic that that shot managed to find its way into the back of the net. We then get a good chance there to make it 5-1 in the 75th minute. Lukaku goes through, but unfortunately his shot hits the outside of the post and comes back in, and they do their match to get the ball clear. But then we do hit the crossbar once again. Sivkovic plays the ball across, comes to Marshall. Marshall hits the first time, hits the crossbar, and the ball gets cleared out and that was actually how the game finished. So a very, very good performance from Zivkovic and the team in general, as I was very pleased that we managed to win the game 4-1 at home against Arsenal. So a historic victory for us there. And... Um we have now progressed into the next round of the FA Cup. But the last, or the third and final game of this episode was going to be at the San Siro Stadium up against AC Milan. This squad, we do have pretty much our strongest uh, squad out for this one. Uh, but we do actually go with uh, Coleman and um, the other player up front because I thought if I went with speed, I might be able to do them a little bit better. But Marshall picks up the ball here. He does very well, skips past a few, gets clearly taken down in the 58th minute and we get a good chance here. Instead of taking it and trying to whip it over the block, over the wall, what I do is take the ball short, we play the ball off wide to Boniati, and Boniati hits it. So after the referee uh, showed his yellow card to Matteo De Siglio after he had taken out Marshall, he couldn't deal with the pace and he had no option but to take him down. We do take the ball short, uh, Kingsley Coleman, um, it was actually uh, Draxler that plays over the ball over cross, he plays the ball to Boniati and a fantastic finish from Boniati as he puts the ball into the back of the net in the 62nd minute to give us a historic 1-0 lead at the San Siro Stadium up against AC Milan. And um, this is obviously the first leg, um, I believe. Yes, I think it is the first leg. So, yeah, it is. So it's the first leg of this game. So if we've already got the away goal, so we've got a massive advantage so far to try and get uh, a progress into the next round. But they do actually score, but thankfully it was redeemed for offside. And Bonner and Turo was a little bit unlucky there that he strayed a little bit offside and... Um, we get we got ourselves let off. We didn't get a good chance to make it a 2-0, but unfortunately Marshall shot goes wild of the post. But that's actually it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as we very much appreciate it. I really hope to see you next time very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.